lovely, I'm Maria and in this video we're going to be talking about what? Musical, the instruments. And my name is Rory, but I have no musical instruments, but that's what we're talking about. Are we excited? We are very excited, yes. Um, I wish I'd prepared for this, honestly. I used to have a guitar and and, and I don't know what happened to it. Um, so I'm a bit disappointed I don't have anything like Maria does. I know, Maria is so full of surprises. Let's talk about musical instruments. Do you play a musical instrument? I'm afraid not. I actually really struggle to coordinate my hands and feet. So playing something like piano or or the ukulele <laughs> would be this would be a real challenge for me. Rory told us that I really struggle to coordinate my hands and feet. So when you coordinate your hands, so when you play, you have to coordinate, you know, hands, and then you change things here. You coordinate this hand with this hand, so coordination. You have to move them together effectively, but I can't do that. And I think with a, with a piano, that's particularly important. And we say like, play the piano, right? So play the guitar, so play the ukulele. What about drums? Play the drums or, well, <laughs> bang the drums. Yeah, it's important that it's the, though. Um, I, and I think it's because it's a specific instrument that we have the. We don't usually say, I know how to play a ukulele, for example. The most common colligation is the and the instrument. And I'm sure it's because it's a specific kind of instrument. We don't usually have a for one of many. And um, that would be like, I don't want to play, or I need to know how to play one of many ukuleles. And that doesn't sound right. We want to talk about like the instrument as a whole, the concept. You can also say a couple of words about chords. So we play chords. And also uh, you can say that I struggle to stretch my fingers because like to play uh, chords, you need to sometimes, you know, like this, do this. And uh, this freaking like physically, I, I can't do certain things. And it's like, you know, like on YouTube, they, they sit you there nicely with the guitars. Like, oh, you want to learn to play the guitar? Da, 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 da. And then uh, at home, you're just sitting there like, I have to do what? This finger goes where? So yeah, it's difficult to stretch my fingers or um, uh, sometimes your fingers have to be stretched in an unnatural way. They even have to be positioned in an, unna an unnatural way. Did you take any classes on musical instruments in school? We used to have recorder lessons in school, um, in primary school, that is. A uh, recorder is like a woodwind instrument. That, it looks like a flute, but you don't play it from the side. You play it from the front with your fingers. Um, and then later on in high school, I had um, sort of passing encounters with the drums and um, various guitars, but that's about it, really. In school, we used to play something, or I used to have classes, and Rory mentioned another musical instrument, which is a recorder. A recorder is a type of a flute. Well, I don't know if it's a type of flute. It's definitely a type of woodwind instrument, which means that the movement of the wind is how the sound is produced. It's a really simple explanation because I have at least two friends who are into uh, music and musical theatre and I was talking to them about this yesterday and I think my really simple explanations made their heads explode. Or you can say like, I didn't used to have any classes or you had music theory. You learned things about notes and I don't know, what, 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 they, what, they, what do they do? Again, I'm going to apologize for oversimplifying things. Music theory is about the underlying principles behind how to create musical pieces and how to understand them. Musical notes and notation is the representation of the writing in this particular pattern because music has its own written system and code. It's like its own language. You can also say I had isolated encounters with guitars or with drums or with uh, ukuleles. Like, isolated, isolate. They're not together, they're isolated. Encounters, like meetings. So I can say, like, sometimes we had classes in music and we played the drums. Or, to be super cool and full of awesome, you say, we had isolated encounters with drums. But that just means it's like one lesson on the drums and nothing else. No chance for a progression, as it were. Um, 
you know, but that's a that's just a sad fact of life in a in a high school. You don't have unless you're taking specific lessons. You don't have time for the sequencing to build up over time. That's a bit sad. Right, and we have classes in music, classes in musical instruments. So, classes in something or classes on something, usually interchangeable. Yes, very small difference in meaning. A class in something would be like in the subject, so that's like a closed item. But a class on something, like a class on something specific, like a class on playing the drums, for example. Oh, Rory, this is impossible, really. Can I just say... It's not impossible. There is an underlying principle. There is an underlying principle behind how we use our prepositions in English. I never took an interest in music, or I never took an interest in playing the drums. Or I, outside school, for example. Or I took an interest in playing the drums outside school. Which musical instrument do you like? Uh, I quite like the bass guitar and the flute, actually. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if you would ever or how you would ever get them in combination, but I like those two in particular. Um, oh, and I like the drums. Um, well, but any percussion instrument, really. I just like the idea of like um, the, the establishing the beat. That's quite good for me. Then, dear listener, you should know some names for musical instruments. Rory mentioned the bass, the bass guitar, or electric guitar, dear listener, okay? And we have acoustic guitar. Uh, Rory mentioned the flute, and popular instruments are uh, violin, uh, the piano, also saxophone, which is lovely, and uh, that's it, pretty much. Oh, ukulele, maybe, but... That's that's all of the instruments, every last one of them. No, no, but it's the most popular, the most popular instruments. Although, I would hope that Vanya will be adding in pictures as we go. For example, flute, violin, cello. He's gonna put something really inappropriate now with, with all the things I just said. Percussion instruments are really nice. Percussion. It's about the... They can... To elaborate on Maria's technical explanation, <laughs> percussion <laughs> instruments create sound by striking something against something else. So the sound is created by the hitting or the impact. The kinetic energy, if you will. See, science words. I can do that. I can't do musical instruments, I'm afraid. I'm a percussionist. Have you got a drumstick? Oh no, it's a pencil. <laughs> yeah, and um, percussionists, like people who play all these different things, they do crazy things. They can just extract sound from pretty much anything, like a simple bag. And uh, this thing, so they kind of do this... <laughs> and it creates sounds. So, um, really nice. Percussion and percussion instruments. What instrument would you like to play? I used to really want to learn how to play the flute, um, but it was, uh, well, it was far too complex for me, basically, and I had other things going on at the time. Um, so I think I'd settle for playing things like the guitar or the drums right now. Um, like I say, um, I had isolated encounters with them in high school, but that all went completely out the window, um, well, essentially after high school, because just other things were happening. I really want to play the flute, or I want to play the guitar. But it's complex, or it's complicated. Yeah, and even like this, you know, it has like four strings. Strings, but it's pretty tough, you know? Maybe it's the easiest instrument to play, but still. If something goes out the window... No, if something goes out the window, then it completely disappears. Um, and so, all of my music lessons just went out the window, and all of my musical interest went out the window, aside from listening to music after high school, because I didn't have the chance to learn how to play an instrument after that. So my musical interests went out the window. Like, at school we had some music, but then my music instruments... My music instruments didn't go out the window. <laughs> you just had this image of me throwing a recorder out the window. The actual, the actual expression was, it all went out the window. So instead of specifying what exactly, I just said, in general, the concept of learning about music went out the window. It all went out the window after high school. How easy would it be to learn to play musical instruments without a teacher? Well, for me, Next to impossible, um, I really need the support for things like this. However, um, some people are really good at just, um, well, picking up an instrument and 
um, playing along with their peers um, or just by messing around with them. That's quite impressive. I have a gift for it. I have a gift for playing the drums. I have a gift for creating music. I have a gift for something. I have this ability. Do you have a gift for playing the ukulele? Well, I've been playing like for two months. Okay, pretty much every day, every single day, maybe sometimes twice a day. Is this because you knew that we were going to talk about instruments and you were like, I'm going to play a musical instrument for this? No, no, actually, I've always wanted to play an instrument. Yeah, because my father is a musician. My father can play different instruments, actually a Scottish one, bagpipes, he can play. But I didn't, so I've always wanted to do that. And now I'm doing it, okay, dear listener? And this is motivation for you to get a high score for IELTS. If I can play this, you can do pretty much anything, okay? With my freaking fingers. And my left hand, my left hand just doesn't work. It's like half, half dead. Okay, I can't, so do I have fingers here? I have to do what? So it's really hard. At least you're trying. I couldn't do that. Well, I know. Let's let's have a growth mindset. I could probably do that, but I don't have the time um, or the inclination. Some people can pick it up. For example, I just take an instrument and kind of like... IELTS, Ronnie, I've spent so much time, Maria. Please tell me, where is my band nine? This, I, I just start playing without learning anything. I'm natural, so I can pick it up just by watching some videos on YouTube. Well, or just through experiencing something. It's not about the explicit teaching. It's just about the experience and then trying out and failing and then trying again. Or you can play with your peers, with your friends, people of the same age as you play with your peers or mess around with them. Although I, I should say my referencing was not really good there because I said you could play with your peers or just by messing around with them. And of course, I meant by messing around with the instruments, not your peers, but that's not super clear. So make sure that when you do that, you're much clearer than I am when you're talking. With a teacher or without a teacher? So Rory told us next to impossible and I actually agree, right? Because I have a teacher and when you start from zero, I started from like zero knowledge about music. Like there is this posture, first of all, the position of your body, like how to hold an instrument accurately, correctly, right? How to like um, change chords. So how to finger chords. So we finger chords, right? We change chords, finger position, how to tune it, yeah? So we do need a teacher beside you, okay? Yeah. Or at least someone with a great deal of patience. And I've created a, another song, Rory. I've created Ch Check it out. Check it out. Can't buy band nine. Uh, oh, dear. <laughs> dear listeners, thank you very much for watching, for listening. Uh, it's just been two months, okay? So I can't possibly sing, so um, mix. It's okay, even if I'm out of tune. Check out our episodes for speaking part two and three and our phrasal verbs course. The links are in the description. Bye. Bye. Then I bought the premium and the phrasal verb course. And I got my band nine. Of course. Then I got the premium and the phrasal verb course. And I got my band nine. The links are in the description, dear listener. So if you want to support <laughs> Maria's music, get the premium and the phrase of course, okay? <laughs>